Funcom lays out a roadmap for Secret World Legends, PUBG is taking over the world of gaming, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, for those of you who are actively playing or took a break from my.com's free to play MMORPG Revelation Online, there's a new update that might bring you back. This update is in the form of Uprising, which increases the game's level cap to 79 and adds a new high level raid called Altar of Swords. If you're an experienced raider, you can take on the 10-man expert mode that rewards players with a slew of rewards if they can conquer it. Alongside that comes an additional floor to the Mech Citadel dungeon and access to the Azure Dragon Guild Tournament. Seems like a pretty hefty update. Next up, if you're more into conspiracy theories, Funcom's free-to-play MMORPG Secret World Legends will be receiving a new update as soon as this week in the form of Tokyo Beyond the Wall. This update brings forth more of Tokyo, as well as new gadgets, Aegis storyline bits, a quest item specific inventory, and more. As for the future, the last part of Tokyo will arrive in short order alongside the Tokyo Lair, Dark Agartha and the Agent systems will come online, and a whole lot more. As great as it is to see Funcom finally catching up on the Secret World's content, it will be much more exciting once bigger updates that are brand new hit their revamped title. Are you still playing Secret World Legends? Leave me a comment down below. Can't decide whether you're in the mood for some Dota 2 or PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds? Well, it seems as though Nival, the creators of the MOBA-like MMORPG Prime World, has a new option for you in the tune of their upcoming free-to-play title Prime Arena. By its own admission, it's a combination of MOBA and survival gameplay inspired by PUBG. You'll get to choose from 20 heroes and then get thrown into a shrinking map. You'll have to utilize MOBA style mechanics in order to progress as well as survive the onslaught of other enemy players. If you survive, you might just get a chicken dinner. As for how long you'll have to wait to try out Prime Arena, it is set for a fall release, so the wait shouldn't be too much longer and if you wish to keep track of it, the game already has an official Steam page. PUBG is officially taking over the world and proof of that alongside with our last story is Epic Games free to play title Fortnite adding a 100 player battle royale mode. You heard me right, you start with a pickaxe, scavenge for building materials, weapons and traps, then try to survive the shrinking map filled with enemy players. This mode's public test is already live right now and with a good bit of people streaming it on Twitch.tv, you could see that it definitely adds another element in the battle royale mix. Is it needed though? Well, that's for you to decide, but with the growing amounts of games trying to ride off the success of PUBG, it is time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked if you guys would ever attend an esports event. A used by the name of Fantasy Win stated the following, I've been to the Dota 2 International. Each year, they get better and better. I believe it's the best place to really get an idea of what a crowdfunded esport LAN tournament feels like. Hell, it might make you want to get into Dota. Thanks for all your guys' responses, and as always, if you wish for your comedy possible feature on next week's show, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, if you're interested in Battle Royale style gameplay, which game do you think should adopt it and why? Personally, I'd love to see a Rising Storm 2 Vietnam, Rainbow Six Siege, or other some fine-tuned shooter adopt it. Curious which games you guys bring up. Last up in the news this week, hi res Studios' Duelist-inspired free-to-play turn-based strategy card game Hand of the Gods Smite Tactics has released on Steam via the platform's early access program. This release follows a patch that makes several improvements both in and out of game. They include a refinement of combat logs and the addition of clans and a deck tracker. If you choose to check it out, there is a new $5 starter pack available that comes with a skin and 7 core packs. Personally, I found the game to be alright, but I didn't really see much of an audience there. Right now, the game via Steam shows 500 people playing in an all-time peak of 1,084. Maybe there are people playing elsewhere, or they're just relying on Cliffy B's slow burn mentality. Who knows? Speaking of elsewhere, be sure to head on over to MMOBomb.com and check out our giveaways page. Check out the current giveaways, and while you're at it, check out the latest breaking news within the free-to-play space. As for myself, signing out till next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps and I'll catch you guys next time.